Hello, hello, hello. We are happy to bring you today's matchup here on the 2K Sports Network. Coming to you from the Oceanic Bowl. For the home team, we've got the Vipers. They'll be defending against the Cobras. I'm Dan Stevens, and across from me is Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a moment to review the lineups for today's game. Peter? These two players are in the spotlight because they stand apart. They're the ones you write books about, tell stories to your kids about. Yep, they're the best of the best. But they won't have it easy, though. They're facing a tough adversary. Here are two stars that define a team and make it so much more than just a mere collection of players. And besides, look at the rest of the players on this list. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, indeedy, Peter. Now let's go to midfield for the coin toss. You guys ready? You ready? The Cobras will make the selection. What is the call? Tails. It is heads. Will kick. The Vipers have won the toss and select a kick. Owen sends it away to begin the game. Number 80 fields the opening kickoff at the 13. Stop at the 32. Number 80 could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so. The Cobras will start the drive at their 32-yard line. Blanche takes his first carry of the game and heads up field. 35, 25, 10, 5, touchdown! Ryan Blanchard showed why he's got to be one of the most dexterous players in the league, Dan. Watch this. Dexterous, all right. May have to look that one up, but you're right. What an outstanding juke. He totally read the tackler's mind. Exactly. It's all about predicting what the tackler is thinking and then, well, doing something else. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. It's good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. The Cobras are kicking off. Time is deep to receive. Davis kicks it off. Simon catches it back at the three. Brought down at the 24. Leonardo Simon received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. This is the call. Try 50 clear drag. Break. The Vipers will start the drive at their own 24 yard line. Washington throws a big <laughs> rainbow here, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 46. Number 28 gets a little help from Mother Nature on this one, Dan. The high winds just make that pass a little woozy and delivers it right to him instead of the receiver. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Cobras are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 46-yard line. Blanchard reels in the football and picks up maybe a yard. 
Hey, what was the problem there? Bad throw. I just got to shake it off and move on. Second down, two Second tight down. ends in the game. Blanchard gets past the line and heads wide left. Tackled at the 47. Gain of six yards on the play. Gallery with the tackle. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. Third and three from the program, 47 yards. Tackles him for a short loss. That will bring up fourth down. Saunders lines up to punt after the three and out. Saunders takes the snap and punts it away. Simon catches it at the 12. Brought down at the 16. Leonardo Simon got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Vipers, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 16-yard line. Woods goes right up the middle and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and Look alive on this one. Your Vipers, 17 yard line. Woods gets the call again and heads left. One man to beat. A 45, finally stopped at the 44. First down. Icky Woods models the D with that terrific juke move. Watch this. Ooh, perfectly executed. Totally sidestepped the tackler. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 40 yards on two carries. First and 10 from the Cobra. Gains 13 yards, and that will bring up first down. Icky Woods was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 53 yards on three carries. First down from the on. Number 37 takes it off the toss and will lose about a yard here. Number nine tackles him for a short loss. Washington fires this one over the middle, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. You know, Dan, these sudden gusts of wind make it painful to try and complete passes. That incompletion will bring up fourth down, and if they had connected, well... It still would have been short. You have to run those routes farther in that situation. Ingram lines up for the punt. Number 80 is deep to receive. Hey, cover your man! Ingram takes the long snap and kicks a short one. The Cobras find themselves in dangerous territory and will start this one way back at their own four-yard line. Ooh. 
Blanchard chews up four yards, and that brings up Blanchard second down. A pick up of four yards on the play. Number 20 with the tackle. Second and five from Rick Hover's eight yard line. Tackles him for a short loss. Maurice Davis would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. You be ready out there. You hear me? The Cobra's eight yard line. Rivera throws this on a rope, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Ineligible receiver, number 84, the penalty is declined. How about blocking this thing? Come on, let's swarm this guy. Saunders lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Simon is deep to receive. Let's block the punt, y'all. Let's go, let's go. Saunders takes the long snap and punts it away. Simon fields the punt at the 50. Stop at the 42. Leonardo Simon got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Vipers had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the 42-yard line. Woods takes his fourth carry of the game and heads up field. Chase down at the 29. It will be first down. Nice gain on this, baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 66 yards on four carries. First down, 10 yards to go. Number nine tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number nine anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten from the Cobra's 29-yard line. Washington throws a heater right sideline and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Brian Black is wondering if he slipped into the twilight zone or something because the coverage is in another dimension. Oh, sad recognition by the defense. Somebody has got to step up on that side of the ball. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Number five takes him down back at the 21. That will bring up fourth down. Number five got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They come up with the big play, and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Owen kicks from 38 yards out, and it's good. Stephen Owen could have seen his kick go almost anywhere because of this win. Body compensated nicely, didn't have much trouble dividing the uprights for three. Owen kicks it away. Number 80 fields the kickoff at the 10. Tackled at the 30. Number 80 got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams.
The Cobras have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 30-yard line. Rivera airs this one to the left sideline, and it's complete at the 45, and he's stopped right there. First down, Cobras. Ed Rivera found a hole in the defense. Let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. His first huge connection of the day was two inches from the sun, I swear. All right, settle down. Slight exaggeration there, big guy. All right, that was a big play. This defense better watch themselves. A line has just been drawn. Hudson grabs the bullet, and that's good for a gain of five. Ricardo Hudson easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Blanchard picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. Brian Blanchard stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Watch the pad! Watch the pad! Watch left! Hudson catches it in the flat, and... That's a gain of seven on the play. Ricardo Hudson was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Rivera lofts this one out to the left, and it's cut for the score. Number 80 has no one around to stop him, and what are the defenders doing out there? What? I mean, wh were they thinking he'd drop it? Uh, apparently, they, were th they weren't even thinking at all. It makes you wonder how far away we are from substitutions in that secondary. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Here's the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. The Cobras are set for the kickoff. Simon deep to receive. Davis kicks it away. Simon fields it way back at the one. Brought down at the 24. Leonardo Simon got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Vipers, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 24-yard line. Woods gets the call on first down and passes the line. Brought down at the 25. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Holding, number 63, off in, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat, first down. Damian Rambert held his man on that play, and hey, you can't do that. That was offensive holding any day of the week. First and a long 20 from Wolf Vipers, 14 yard line. Freddie Washington played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Not much available as far as closing the gap, Peter. Absolutely right. They still have a long way to go. Second and 
Number seven hits it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number seven gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Hey. Third and 17 from Drew Vipers, 16 yes. yard line. Washington passes a high, long one, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 26. Number seven has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Cobras got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at the 26-yard line. Number 91 gets the sack at the 27. Number 91 hauled down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Blanchard will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Cobras enjoying the lead 14 to three. Everybody ready? It's gonna be bunch 50, D drag rub. All out here. Third down, one man back. Hudson catches it in the flat and he's well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Glenn Barney brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. with the 42-yard attempt, and it's through the goalposts, and good. Maurice Davis rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. Davis sends it downfield. Simon fields the kickoff at the four. Tackled hard at the 24. The Vipers must feel like they need to score this timeout. This drive will start at their own 24-yard line. Washington rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Brought <laughs> down at the 17. Jefferson. You got nothing, man. Nothing.
The Cobras come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at the 17-yard line. Blanchard takes the handoff and heads left. Tackled at the eight. Brian Blanchard can't make it on the ground, so he takes the high road. Check it out. It's all about making progress, whether it's on the ground or in the air, and this guy can do it either way. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and one. Ball at the eight yard line. Blanchard gets the call again and maybe picks up one on the play. Ryan Blanchard had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Blanchard gets the toss and runs into traffic, hauls him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the marker. It'll be fourth down. Keon Therry got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They come up with the big play, and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Fourth down and less than a yard. Davis with a 25-yarder, and it's through the goal posts and good. Maurice Davis has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. The Cobras are kicking off. Simon back to receive. Davis sends it downfield. Simon catches it back at the six. Drag down at the 31. Leonardo Simon received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Vipers are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their 31-yard line. Woods gets the call on first down and picks up a couple. Icky Woods used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Third and six. Ball at the 34 yard line. Washington zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Ethan Simmons came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Ingram takes the snap and punts it away. Number 80 catches it at the 29. Tackled hard at the 36. The Cobras are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 36-yard line. Blanchard gets the toss and passes the line. Drag down at 
the 41. Kai Inzer excavated some room for the runner to punch through. This O-line is fierce. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four from Cobra's 41 yard line. Number 80 catches the bullet out left and is well past the markers for a first down. First down, Cobras. Number 80 is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Rivera fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Ed Rivera uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. Righto, Dano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 91 yards and no interceptions. Number 80 catches it in the flat, and that's a gain of seven on the play. credited with the tackle. I might as well be playing with myself. I'm so wide open. Second and two from La Cobra, 31 yards. Hey, careful. Careful. Lancher loses one on the play, and that will bring up third down. Number 91 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Number 80 grabs the rope right side and they convert on third down. First down, Cobras. Number 80 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. First and ten. Oh, nice catch. He explodes out of the gate with a number of catches. This guy, well, he, he's just a consistently good player, Peter. Absolutely, Dan. Really impressive communication with his team. Blanchard gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Gain of three on the play. Jenkins credited with the tackle. Three more. Second and six. in for a short loss. Maurice Davis got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Number 91, Jackson way back at the 27. That will bring up fourth down. Number 91 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. Davis with the 44-yard attempt, and it's through the goalposts and good. Maurice Davis knocks through a good size kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Davis boots it away. Simon fields the kickoff at the five. The 29. Leonardo Simon was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick.
The Vipers haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Lewis grabs the fastball over the middle, and that's good for six. Freddie Washington dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. Dan, I'm seeing a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. Washington throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 33, pushed out at the 38. Number 28, forced his man out back there. Allowed some yards, yes, but stopped them short of the markers. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Third and inches from your Vipers, 38 yards. Sacks him, and that takes them even farther away from the marker. Fourth down coming up. Ingram gets the ball and punts it away. Number 80 deals the punt at the 25. Drag down at the 35. Number 80 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Cobras come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their 35-yard line. Blanchard barrels off his left guard and chews up about four on the play. Pick up of four yards on the play. Jenkins credited with the tackle. Let's go! Second and five. Ball at the 39 yard line. Chews up nine yards, and that brings up first down. 48 yards. Rivera got hit as he threw that one, and that will be an incomplete pass. Ed Rivera took a shot back there, which is why that pass went nowhere. A rare incompletion. And the defense sighed a sigh of relief. But it's only the second quarter, Dan. The D has to hang tough. Rivera just rifles this one, and it's tipped incomplete. Steve Jenkins came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down from the shotgun. The clock will continue to run. It'll be fourth down. Did you see that? Beautiful. Just beautiful. The Cobras are back to punt. Simon is D3C. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm going to block the punt. Saunders gets the snap and punts it away. Simon catches it at the 20. Stop at the 26. Leonardo Simon fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. We're going with split twins, strong fold sweep. All out here. 
The Vipers take the field with the clock at nine. Woods takes it for his eighth carry and hands wide left. No one in front of him. A 45, 30, 20, 15, 5, touchdown! And check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 144 yards and one touchdown. Here's the point after, and it's good. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Cobras enjoying the lead 23 to 10. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Nice job, Dan. The Vipers get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 23 to 10. Let's get down to the field and the action. Davis boots the second half kickoff away. Simon fields the second half kickoff at the one. Drag down at the 25. Leonardo Simon was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Vipers bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 25-yard line. Takes the hit in the backfield at the 23. Sammy Mack read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle Great. of the game. Second and 12 from your Vipers, 23 yard line. There ain't no comeback lane for you. Bro, bro. <laughs> Woods punches this one left of center and gains about three yards. He picks up three on the play. Mack credited with the tackle. Third down and four wideouts in the game. 26 yards. Washington goes into the left sideline and caught. Well short of the markers, however, that will bring up fourth down. Number seven just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Ingram gets the snap and punts it away. Number 80 makes a fair catch at the 37. 37 yard line. The Cobras come out on offense and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 37 yard line. Rivera throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped incomplete. You know, Dan, these sudden gusts of wind make it painful to try and complete passes. That's three in a row that have fallen incomplete. Yeah, he's starting to press a little, Dan. I think the coach may want to pull him aside and just you know settle him down a little bit. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Come <laughs> on. 
Blanchard gets the call on second down and Bromley gets back to the line of scrimmage. Here we go, guys. Gun. Quad left. 50 red flood. Stay sharp. Third and nine from Left Hobo. 38 now. Rivera fires this one over the middle and the reception's made at the 40. Dragged down at the 45. Ferry with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. They only need a couple here. So let's buckle down. Saunders lines up to punt after the three and out. Deep three seed. Saunders takes the snap and punts it away. Simon fields the punt at the 18. Tackled at the 21. Leonardo Simon didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Vipers, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 21-yard line. Washington throws this one right sideline, and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Number 28 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Second and 10, ball at the 21-yard line. The sack at the 18. David Holmes just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. 13 from Will 25. Mack with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Sammy Mack tackled him so Mack close to the first, he can probably taste it, along with the dirt and grass he's trying to spit out. He now has five tackles in the game. Ingram lines up for the punt. Number 80 is deep to receive. Oh, yeah, this one's mine. This one's mine. Ingram gets the ball and punts it away. Number 80 catches it at the 42. Stopped at the 47. Ball will be placed around the 47 yard line. The Cobras get great field position yet again. They'll start this one at their 47 yard line. Number 91 throws him for a loss at the 45. Number 91 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. Number 80 catches it over the middle and is at the 15. Touchdown! Number 80 keeps the party going here after hauling this one in. Well, Danny shows great hands and a little wiggle at the end of the play. Tough guy to bring down. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest. Davis is back for the point after. Miles will hold the kick.
Here's the point after, and it's yeah, good. The point is good. Davis sends it downfield. Simon catches it back at the one. Dukes stopped at the 31. Leonardo Simon was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. Man, there's still plenty of time left. The Vipers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their 31-yard line. <laughs> Woods loses about three, and that will bring up second down. McIntyre credited with the tackle. He loses three on the play. Guy McIntyre keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second, second down. Second down with a split backfield. for a first. Ryan Black is squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Washington really rifles this pass, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. He picks up 21 on the play. First down, Vipers. First and 10 from the Cobra, 38 yards. James catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for six. He picks up six yards on the play. Second down from the eye. Second and three. Watch the run. Watch the run. Wake up. <laughs> Woods takes the handoff and makes it up the field. Hug it down. The 21. Icky Woods knew exactly where to go, and the D fell for it. Watch how he fakes him out. That was really a nice juke, Dan. The defense didn't know what happened. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 151 yards on 12 carries. Good for a gain of 10 on the play. Freddie Washington made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, Second we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Holmes tackles him for a short loss. David Holmes read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Third and one from the Cobras, 12 yards. Woods gets the toss and runs into traffic.
No, no, no! First Not today! No, sir! The Cobras. Let him know. Woods picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and nine. Yeah. Set. We need to stop it off right here. Watch it. Number 37 gets the toss and ends up losing about three. Number 37 with the carry. Number nine credited with the tackle. Number nine makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays in their face. Third and long. Washington lets it go here, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Sammy Mack managed to take him down before he got to the markers, but whew, it was close. There's a migraine waiting to happen for a defensive coordinator. They almost gave it up. Yeah, but they didn't let him convert. It's still going to go to fourth down. Fourth and short. Owen from 20 yards and squeezes it inside the right goal post. Stephen Owen takes the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Owen kicks it off. Number 80 fields the kickoff at the 13. Tackled at the 34. Number 80 took the pint-sized kick and ran it back for a gallon-sized return. We have to make a statement on this series. First and 10 from the Cobras, 34 yards. Blanchard bulldozes right of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Brian Blanchard stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Rivera throws this on a rope, and it's complete at the 44. Number 41, can't believe he's this wide open. The coverage simply does a disappearing act. That's a magic trick the defensive coordinator needs to retire. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Cobras in command of this one, 30 to 13. Okay, coach wants this one. Tight triple, strong G toss. Look alive, baby. Right. First and 10. Blanchard will take this one off the toss and barely picks up the first down. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 93. Deep. The penalty is declined. First down, two tight ends in the game. From Will Vipers, 44 yards. They're going air. They're going air. I see pass. Louie, Louie, Louie. Watch the back. Watch the back. Watch the back. 
Blanchard picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second and seven from October, 42 yards. Hudson catches it over the middle, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Ed Rivera rolled the dice by targeting a receiver with two defenders near him. But the pass clicked, and they'll move the ball. You have to respect this offensive game plan. That was their third connection downfield today, Peter. Yep, the coaches must have found a weak spot in that secondary. This one off to the right and converts the third down. Brian Blanchard was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. Well, Peter, a pretty nice job there converting on third down. Yeah, didn't get a lot, but didn't need to. Good job. Number 80 catches the hard throw and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 80 is matched up well with the defense on this one, but is able to stay one step ahead for the completion. It's worth another look here. Oh, yeah, the D might want to put more men on him next time. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Number 91 gets the sack way back at the 27. Number 91 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That's his third sack on the day, and he is playing like a man possessed out there. Oh, he's a beast, Dan, and that's no good at all for quarterbacks around the league. Number 41 pulls it in right side, and he's in for the score. Number 41 gets there to reel in the catch despite being double covered. What do you have to do to intimidate this guy? Well, he never takes his eye off the ball, Dan, even as he's bracing for the hit. They score again, and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. Miles will hold the kick. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Extra point is good. The Cobra to kick off. Simon back to his seat. Davis kicks it away. Simon fields it way back at the six. Breaks a tackle. Tackled at the 29. Leonardo Simon got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Vipers came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Washington fires this one over the middle, and the reception's made at the 37, brought down hard at the 41. It will be first down. Freddie Washington made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Lewis catches it in the flat, and he's looking for room. Eventually runs out at the 47. That will bring up first down. 
Earl Lewis makes a good gain here and gets past the marker. Nice execution. Let's have a look. Well, he got what he needed, and then he went out of bounds. Nice play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Washington tosses it out left side, and it's caught at the 34. Chase down at the 30. Freddie Washington couldn't look the defenders off the ball on this one. Here's an example of one guy making a play against several. Oh, it was close, but his receiver made a positive play on it. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you've got it. So far, he's got 132 yards and three interceptions. Black snags the dart right sideline, and he's in for the score. Ryan Black really spanks the defense at the end of this one. They have solid grab, and then he takes off like a thief. Give him an inch, and he'll steal every yard he can. He gets the TD, and a little congratulations from his teammates. It's well-deserved, Dan. Here's the point after, and it's good. Owen kicks it away. Number 80 fields the kickoff at the 6. Tackled at the 28. Number 80 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. This is what I want. Triple 50X, opposite flow. All out here. The Cobras got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 28-yard line. Rivera throws this on a roll, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Number 80 drew three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Blanchard gets the call on second down and gains about three yards. Blanchard has his number called on third down and gets taken down well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Maurice Davis got to his man early and corkscrewed him to the turf for a big loss. Huge defensive play, Peter. The end zone is getting farther and farther away for this offense. Soon it will become nothing more than a legend among the team. The younger players will scoff that it really doesn't exist. Calm down. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Hammered down at the 38. Better luck next time, man. The Vipers will start the drive at their 38-yard line. Woods takes his 16th carry of the game and rambles for about five. Mack to 
chips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Well, the winds are threatening to blow like a tornado, Dan. Bad conditions for the passing game. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Ball at the 43 yards. Washington tips it to the left sideline and they convert on third down. Freddie Washington demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross field pass. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. First down, 10 yards to go. Woods grabs the rope right side and is at the 45, drag down at the 42. <laughs> Mac sacks him back at the 45. Number 99 was in on the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Freddie Washington tried to jump start the play by scrambling on his own, but he couldn't get anything going. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Washington fires this one over the middle, and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Leonardo Simon tried to make the catch over the middle, but couldn't make the grab. They don't convert on fourth down, Peter, pretty much squelching any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. Yeah, they needed at least a field goal off that one. Let's just say a comeback is going to be very difficult. The right. Cobras take the field and will probably look to take time off the clock. They'll start at their 45-yard line. Touches him down for a loss at the 40. Brian Blanchard loses the ball temporarily on this play. He's able to get it back himself, but they lose some ground on that play. The fumble was temporary, but the damage was permanent. I want to see you Second tighten up 14. that side of the line. From the Cobras, 40 yards. Blanchard gets past the line and will gain close to six. A flag is thrown on the plate. Let's see what it is. Holding number 77. Up in 10 yard penalty from the start of the five. Repeat, second down. Brian Williams held his man on that play, and hey, you can't do that. That was offensive holding any day of the week. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 92 throws him for a loss at the 29. Number 92 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Three stops in a row. What a defensive stand. That's big time play right there. Third and 26 from the Cobra, 29 yards. Takes this one way out left and gets taken down well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Steve Jenkins made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's got seven tackles so far. 
Two minute warning. Saunders gets the snap and punts it away. Simon takes it at the 36. Tackled at the 39. Here we go, guys. Good. Straight for the AZ cross. And... The Vipers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.52. Washington zings it to the right side, and the catch is made, and the clock continues to wind down. Second down with the tight end right. Lewis grabs the fastball over the middle, and the clock continues to wind down. Washington throws a hitter, and it's complete at the 43. First down from the shotgun. Simon makes the catch on the right sideline and is looking for more. Touchdown! Leonardo Simon is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Huh? Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Yeah. Owen bounces it up there, hammered down at the 40. The Cobras start this drive with great field position at the 40-yard line. Off the Vipers take their first time out. Second down, both wide outs to the right. Blanchard dodges the Vipers. They'll take a timeout. That's their second. Third down, the clock is stopped at 54. Plant the Vipers take a timeout. That's their final one. Trevor White brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They stopped them cold, fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Simon, 
Saunders gets the ball and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Terry Saunders saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. First and ten from your Vipers, 20 yard line. continues to run. Second down. 15 yards to go. Simon makes the nice catch and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Washington spikes the ball and that will stop the clock. Second down, right. tight end to the left. Second and ten from your Vipers, 42 yards. Yes. <laughs> Gibson makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Al Gibson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. Third down. The clock is stopped at five. them even farther away from the marker. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Number 80 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 55-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Cobras moving ahead big and now lead by 20. The Vipers midway through the third. Washington would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up an automatic 21-yard field goal. Later on in the fourth quarter, the Cobras leading by 17. Rivera would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They've opened it up and now lead by 24. The Vipers, middle of the fourth. Black found a soft spot in the defense and it worked to his advantage. A 30-yard touchdown for the home team. The Vipers trailing 37 to 20. Simon found a soft spot in the defense and it worked to his advantage. A 39-yard touchdown for the home team. The Vipers climb back into the game, now down by 10. Still late in the fourth quarter, all at their own 15. Washington would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that will do it. The Cobras win this one, 37-27. Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Number 80 left no doubt as to why he's one of the greats. Oh, what a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.